friend Bethany's cat, Olivia, has completely taken over the kitchen with her activities. She's eating, she's sunbathing, and the worst offender has got to be the litter box. But if you can't get rid of it, it's time to disguise it. I got this media cabinet at a big box store. What I love about it is it has two sides, right? So the cat's gonna come in over here, walk through, and this is the litter box chamber. My buddy Nathan's gonna help me make a couple quick cuts. I picked this piece because it has doors that open for total ease of access to clean this baby out. It's pretty looking and a sage green, so it blends right in with the kitchen and nobody would guess it's hiding a kitty's secret. But any cabinet with access to the front could totally work fine. You could do this with a set of pre-made upper cabinets from a hardware store or something upcycled from a thrift store. We're using an oscillating saw and cutting a hole tall enough for kitty to enter. About 8 inches wide and 10 inches high is perfect. There are two chambers connected by a simple cutout in the wall between that's tall enough for the cat to slink her way in. The litter chamber is all business. The pan fits right in and can be removed for cleaning. The second chamber is my secret weapon though. Olivia has no idea she's being secretly managed. Tidying tools hang on the back wall and a carpet square from the dollar store fits perfectly into the second spot so no dust will leave this unit. And this bench cushion will provide the perfect spot for a cat nap. To get Olivia to stop eating the plants, we're going to give her her own smorgasbord right on top of her condo. Edible cat grass will distract her from the other plants around the house. You can purchase cat grass seeds at your local pet store or the garden store and just replant it regularly as your cat eats it. A cleaner kitty situation makes you better roommates.